Welcome to my first tutorial video. Today we will be making a tutorial on how to make a gun game map in Fortnite Creative. As you guys recently know, I just made one. And today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make one if you want to make your own. If you guys do enjoy this content, make sure you like and subscribe. And if you want to support me in Fortnite, make sure you use code BendyGamer in the Fortnite item shop. Alright, let's get into the tutorial. So you're going to want the team settings in the inventory. And for this example, I'm going to have like two teams. So here are all the settings I put down for them. Um, so let's go over them. Team 1, you want them first item? Yeah. Um, just, just like, um, you know... Like, pause the video if you want to get all the stuff. And then do the same thing for Team 2. And then for your island settings, if you want to, like... So, make sure to make sure that um, nothing, like... You don't drop your items when you get eliminated. Um, just, like, keep them. Just do that. Yeah, that's what you need to do for the Team Settings inventory. Pretty simple. That Those are the exact settings you need to copy down. And you want to put your first weapon in here. Um, so you can choose for a variety of weapons. So I'm just going to start with, let's say a mythic hammer assault rifle. So I'm going to put that down. Mm, I accidentally put one on my chest. So I'm going to put one down. Then, um, yeah, I'm going to put one down in here. I'm also going to put one in here. Your first weapon always wants to be in the team settings and inventory thing. Now it's... That's what you want to do. Let's move on to the item grantor real quick. Let's do the mechanics. Okay, so we are moving on to the item grantor mechanics. So all, all these things are actually like good. Um, you you want to equip grantor item your first item, and then you want to this is your most important setting for this cycle to the next item we're receiving from, and we're gonna do for that channel one. Um, but for your other players, you want to be um on the different channel. Um, so yeah. We're gonna put our first weapon there down here. And then let's see next we'll do charge SMG. Also, I want to say for the team in inventory devices, um, if you have it, you want it for like the amount of players. So if you have ten players in your map, then you want to place ten of those with the same exact settings. The main thing you want to change is the team and the channel. So that's what you want to do. And um, yeah, also thing I want to explain is that um the i like so basically like the most important channel like you know it's the channel one i i'm i feel like i'm repeating myself but just in case you guys you guys need to remember this um so like team one is gonna be like channel one team two is gonna be like channel two you see what i mean so if you, if you have like let's say 30 teams then team like 25 if it, they get an elimination it would be like um, channel 29 25 but like, you get what I mean that's basically what I mean by that all right we're gonna put all our weapons in here and we're done with all the weapons then you want to take this item grantor and you want to put it over to your other setting right there and then you want you want to change it to channel 2 so that it goes on that specific channel that you want so that's pretty much the weapon cycle thing done. Now we're going to move on to like some of the actual like UI mechanics and like the actual like island settings. So you want to go into your island settings and, and you see score to end. From the amount of weapons you have, you want to put on this. I put 12 in, but there's not a 12 setting. So I'm just going to put on 10. So if you have 10 weapons in your gun game, then put on 10. If you have 30 weapons in your gun game, then put on 30. That's what you want to do. So then we have the I don't I don't know. If you're like if you want like a place to spawn like spawn pad like respawn every time then you can do that. Yeah, score to end is going to be like this. And also the elimination score is important. So if you have 10 weapons and you want it to the max to be 10 score then elimination score needs to be 10. So those are probably some of your no, definitely your most two important settings. Then the UI I did this in my map, but if you want to have like a score, a scoreboard thing, like to see which player has the most points, then you want to find, I don't know where it is, well, um, round winner display, no, that's not it, H um, HUD info type, I'm pretty sure, um, is score, yeah, you want to set it to score if you want like a, a HUD thing, that's what you want. And that's pretty much the settings for the island, now we're just going to test it out to see if it works. Okay, so we have our sentry right here. 
I we're doing it so we can test it all out stuff like that now i put it on elimin when uh, eliminate trust on channel one because i'm gonna be on team one what the hell there's a baby crying outside my house law oh my i'm filming this yeah so you spot i would recommend putting on infinite ammo just so people don't run out of ammo and if you want you know like a no build gun game which most people do then put it on no build we're just gonna go over here to our place and we are going to test and see if this works. We're again, put on infinite ammo. So we have our little sentry. And yep, we switch weapons. And this will keep recycling until you get... I don't know. What the hell? Why is this score not working? I don't fucking know. Well, um, I didn't do that correctly. I'm sorry. But I don't know. You can search it up. Well, um, <laughs> I messed up the tutorial. No. Um, anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Like I said, if you want to support me in the Fortnite Anime Shop, then please use code Gamer in the Anime Shop. I haven't had food in literally three days. I'm actually starving right now. Please help. Please.